In order to execute a business process, we need to provide an executable process model to a BPMS. The executable process model contains a great deal of information compared to a conceptual process model. As far as the control flow is concerned, it's not enough to specify the process behavior in the normal case when everything goes well. It is very important when it comes to executable process models to specify all possible exceptions that may arise when executing this business process. For example, in the context of this process uh, for handling invoices, uh, the first activity, enter invoice details, may lead to technical issues. For example, the ERP is unreachable or there is a database error. So we need, in this case, uh, to notify the customer. So we need to effectively handle this exception. As far as the artifacts are concerned, it's not enough to specify that there is a data object such as an invoice used as input to activity enter invoice details. We do need to specify the data types for each of these data objects. And by data type, we mean the electronic format in which this document can be represented. Also, we need to specify the data mappings between process variables and task variables. This will allow the BPMS to pass control to a given task, for example, by providing an invoice to task enter invoice details, and then to receive control back from a task once the task has been completed, so that control can be pushed to the next activity. As far as the resources uh, involved in the process are concerned, it's not enough to specify through pools and lanes uh, who should do what. For human resources, uh, the BPMS needs to be aware of uh, a hierarchical model, like an organizational chart uh, capturing the hierarchical relationship within resources. And this will be used to automatically assign uh, work items to given resources. It will also be important to specify allocation strategies. For example, assign task block invoice to the senior finance officer that uh, has the least amount of such pending work items in their work queues. And for automated tasks, uh, we need to specify how the BPM system can reach uh, the software systems that uh, will perform this automated task. For example, a service interface, how to communicate with this external service.